Hello everyone, this is Krode giving you game two. Yes, game two in a series between Kaz versus Right Raw. Game one is up on Machinima. Hopefully that game is already up there. I will go ahead and put a link to game one in the description of this video if you guys are hunting and pecking and trying to look for it so that you guys can watch these games in order and in the correct and in, in the correct order and enjoy the games to its fullest. White Raw spawning as the red Protoss player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Kaz spawning as the light blue or teal Terran here on Tall Dream Altar. Call to Ream Alter an interesting map for this Terran versus Protoss matchup, as we'll see what strategies will be execute, executed and utilized on a map as large as this. Now, based upon the positions, it is going to be a little bit more difficult for White Raw to establish up his third base as it, as it is expanding towards his opponent. Meanwhile, and for Kaz, Kaz is actually going to be spanning further away from his opponent with his own third base here. And then even his fourth base is going to be very well defended as it is on the far side of the map. Interestingly enough, Kaz opting to build a barracks over here by the front door. Um, this is a rather strange position as I believe it would naturally be scouted out as soon as that probe does make it up that ramp. Not quite um, what to not quite sure what to make of that. Perhaps the probe will be or the probe will perhaps slip by and the marine will be able to get off a couple more shots and destroy it. As we are going into a refinery, we could be seeing perhaps react or sorry um, tech lab reaper expansion play here on Tall Dream Altar. As that is a fairly common strategy, at least it was a couple months ago. We'll see what's going to happen as White Raw looking to be very bold and going for a fast Nexus. A Nexus first here on Tall Dream, and we'll see what White Raw does. Most likely, he will be trying to get a, a gateway next. I can't imagine him going anything else. There's the additional gateway, and he is going to have a lot of time to chrono boost off of two Nexus in just a moment. Now, the probe is going to make its way up the ramp. It is going to spot the tech lab. It is going to spot the barracks. And where is it going to go? The supply depots are attempting to try to wall off this location here as we are now going into a Marauder. So it is not going to be a Reaper expand as the SCV... Oh, why did the SCV lower the other supply depot? Not quite sure. SCV now returning back home as a new supply depot has been... Or a new SCV brought over to try to complete this. And now... That SCV and that probe are battling it out. One Marauder now making its way out. We are going into Concussive Shells. SCV does know that there is a Nexus here. And this very early Marauder is going to deal a lot of damage. Unless a lot of probes come off the mineral line. And even so, if a lot of probes come off the mineral line, a lot of damage will still be had. You can see that the probe is trying to get some easy early damage onto that SCV. The SCV now taking some. does need to back off here, but there is going to be a Marauder here. Is it going to be there in time? One Mar Marauder now getting in that damage, taking down one probe. And now a new SCV coming in perhaps to try to build as a Zealot now tries to come in. A probe now trying to come back. The Marauder running away from the probes, but a lot of damage to be had. The Zealot does finish that off as the Marauder... Marauders are now simply going to try to chase after those units. No new SCVs. Marauders are now coming in. It looks like the bunker could get cancelled. Down to 16. 8 hit points. It is not cancelled. As now the Marauders are turning around and destroying more probes. Another probe does get taken down. Perhaps a new bunker will be established. And we'll see what's going to happen here. Two Marauders. No, no, nothing off over here yet as the Marauders could go after these buildings. What's going to happen here? There are now three Marauders damages being dealt. Probes coming off. Probes now going against the the Marauders here. More damage being had. Another probe getting taken out. Another probe getting taken out there. As the Zealots are just getting absolutely slowed by the concussive shells. An additional SCV needs to be transferred over. No, it is just going to be another Marauder here. Zealots now making their way in. The Stalkers do not want to engage. The Zealots can absorb a lot more damage there. As you can now see, damage is being dealt. One Stalker will go down. No, down to four hit points. It finally gets taken out as the Zealots are now going after after those um, Marauders. Marauders need to be careful. It looks like that Stalker uh, will chase down the Marauders there. So it looks like two Marauders trying to finish this off. And is it going to be enough to finish off this last Zealot? As the now the bunker is once again being restarted. A new Marauder is in position here. Perhaps it is going to be able to shoot down. Yes, takes down the Zealot. Zealot does get taken out. Two Stalkers versus one Marauder. Who is up ahead? 
24 versus 22. The bunker has been completed, but I don't think any units will ever get in there at all. Stim finally being researched. More stalkers now being added to this group. Uh, warp gate tech has not even been started. So no warp gate tech as of yet. White Rod deciding to cut it uh, or delay it in order to get more stalkers. And I think that was actually the safe bet and the safe call. If he didn't have all of those stalkers, then he would most likely be dead right now. As the Marauders were really destroying all of those Zealots. I think if one or two extra SCVs from Kaz were brought over and that bunker was ever completed, that would have been a, a completely different story as we now transition into the mid game. White Rod looking to get even more gas, setting up a third and fourth assimilator at his natural expansion. He is now chrono boosting out that warp cake tech, knowing that he is significantly behind. The stalkers are looking to perhaps take down these rocks here and set up another expansion. As we now see uh, just a stim pack, marauders and marines still being added and the command center being built off here as well. Now, we'll see what's gonna ha what the transitions will be in just a moment. As we now see a stalker holding the Zonaga Tower, a group of gateway units taking down the destructible rocks as we are now finally going into a robotics facility for some possible scouting. Marauders looking to engage are not going to find anything as the Stalkers are able to slip away. A probe now perhaps going to come around the far side. This Zelnaga Tower is currently not being held. And we'll see what this probe does. The probe could perhaps try to warp in a pylon here and warp in units down onto this low ground, not be spotted, and then run straight into this third base. That is a definite, definite possibility. Or he can do it right here instead as this place is commonly, commonly scouted out. Now, we'll see what all of this will mean in just a moment as a probe now running in. It will be spotted by a Marine at the Zonaga Tower, taking down that probe. The probe doesn't stand a chance. There it goes. As now the Marauders looking for proxy pylons doesn't spot it. And now taking down these rocks here. Currently running off of six gateways. So six gateways for White Raw, a robotics facility already trained up an observer. That observer going to reveal a lot of map information, just being able to keep track of the armies and be able to react and respond much more quickly than you would um, if you just saw those units on your front door. Now, White Raw does have a number of options, and it looks like he will be going into Colossi. Colossi, a very strong counter to the infantry, the Marines and the Marauders, a lot of splash damage. However, we are getting a starport into a reactor. Now, um, it is going to severely limit the number of medevacs that can be trained, as Vikings will be needed as well, as both players now establishing their third bases. White Raw are now warping in that Nexus command center will, or orbital command will be landing at the third base as we now see stalkers and sentries just getting in some easy damage here. But there are sentries on the low ground and that's the problem. They may get force fields and that is truly the issue. SCVs perhaps need to repair. Marines not going to come in over here. There's a force field trapping some of those units. One stalker does get taken out. Another marauder down to four hit points. It looks like it will survive as... These units are not really trying to engage just quite yet. The Zealots, Marines, able to push back the Zealot here. No missile turrets are established, so Kaz unable to spot that Observer still, as we are now going into three bases. Kaz still sitting at 97 over 97, currently supply blocked. No supply depots underway, finally doubly training them, triple training them. He is going to end up getting a lot of minerals banked. He did call in an, uh, an orbital, uh, what, um, an or uh, an orbital drop or an orbital supply in order to get an additional aid food. There, we'll see what White Raw is gonna do as Kaz's macro is slipping ever so slightly. Stalker now chasing or chasing down an SCV. It looks as though White Raw doesn't know about the expansion location, but he pretty much knows by game sense that an expansion should already be up. Colossus and Immortals making their way out. Ghosts. Also being trained as well, EMP Shockwave going to be very helpful in trying to take down all of the shields. Colossi losing 100 shields, Immortals losing 100 shields. 
Stalker's losing 80, and Zealot's losing 50, as the Observer finally gets and sees what it most likely already knew, as SCVs are now being transferred over. Medivac's now looking to do a drop here, and White Rod doesn't spot this right in between the Fog of War. Marines and Marauders now simply stimming in, gonna get inside this mineral line, take down multiple probes, multiple units getting destroyed. It looks like pylons will get taken out as well, as this Nexus may simply fall. We now see a group, one Colossi, one Immortal trying to make its way out. This Nexus doesn't stand a chance as White Rod now losing a critical expansion. And now all these units will be running back home, but the Stalkers may be able to chase this down. This is maybe a bad move as the Medivax absorbing a lot of damage. Meanwhile, back over here, a Colossi with that extended Thermal Lance range getting in some easy kills, easy swipes onto those SCVs. Dealing 30 damage per round of attack. Marines and Marauders now being forced to pull away as the Colossi and Stalkers still giving chase. One Colossus just walking up and down that cliff. Vikings are being trained. One Marine pushing back that unit there. As we now see Marines and Marauders trying to engage. But no, for no AMPs on the sentries. A nice pocket protection as the Marines and Marauders are trying to push into this position here. There may not be enough force fields. Another EMP shockwave. And now, White Raw in trouble, losing his entire attack force there. 65 to 55 Harvesters, but definitely better for Kaz as he is harvesting off of three bases instead of two. This Nexus being rebuilt in about another 20 seconds will be operational. More probes now being transferred off to the north location there as White Raw, still without blink, tries to put pressure onto the natural expansion once more. Colossi walking up and down that cliff, getting some easy shots, easy damage there. Marines and Marauders now getting into position. Vikings EMP shockwave, all the stalkers are trying to retreat. It looks like some of them will be able to as the Colossus may end up getting taken down. Yes, it does, but all the Vikings, oh wow, two very low hit point Vikings able to retreat back and most likely will end up getting repaired here in just a moment. Marines and Marauders looking to push down over here are going to catch Zealots now trying to warp in as the Zealots are getting slowed by the concussive shell. One Zealot will get taken out. No, that Zealot down to four hit points. One Zealot, two Zealots now destroyed and no real damage dealt besides the initial stim. Colossi now deciding to back off here. White Raw still with the Harvester advantage. If ever so slight, only a 7 Harvester advantage, very even, level 2 weapons and armor upgrades as we now transition into a Templar Archives for Archons and High Templars. EMP Shockwave will be an even bigger integral part of the army now as SCVs and Vikings looking to perhaps take down more units. Zealots and Stalkers coming in, but way too large of a force. White Rod doesn't really have anything to really combat this. There is one pylon here. Kaz most likely knows that it is there. Gonna go ahead and destroy it. There it goes. And now all the Stalker can really do is perhaps chase down this SCV. White Rod now losing a bit of his forces as we see the macro of Kaz still unrelenting. Level 2 weapons upgrade and armor upgrades for the infantry. Level 1 weapons upgrade for the Vikings. Vikings going to deal, to what, 26 damage per round of attack there as they are going to be hunting down Colossi. We'll see where they will go and how much damage they will be able to do as the army composition much, much larger for Kaz. But... With the defender's advantage and the reinforcements from these multiple gateways, and um, the units could be coming in very, very quickly. Marines and Marauders looking to push in once again. It looks as though some damage could be had. There are no Colossi mass Marines. And now just straight sniping that Nexus. And a White Rod now once again down to two bases. And he cannot afford to continue to trade these bases here. As the scanner sweep now reveals four Colossi. And now Kaz knows that he does need to back off. Level 1 weapons upgrade on the ships about to be completed. That will help the Vikings shoot down those Colossi even further. The Colossi already at 2-2 two, two upgrades. Dealing 30, what, 38 damage per attack. Um, as the units are now going to go ahead and try to chase. The Colossi are in position. And now in come the units. The Vikings are engaging against the Colossi. Marines and Marauders, there's some EMPs. And with the Vikings finishing off the Colossi, Marines and Marauders in position continuing to just push forward. It looks as though the Stalkers are all going to fall. The Colossi are going to fall. And there is the GG well played from White Raw.
So White Raw losing game two in this series. Stay tuned for game three.